Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have our signature top five videos. Technically, it's going to be a top six because the last one, it's this one brand, but I like two bags from the brand. But I'm going to be talking to you about totes because it's summertime, it's hot, I'm wearing my crop top. And I feel like the summer is when you have like the big totes, either you're going to the beach or you just have to lug more stuff around because you have to have like sunscreen on deck, hairbrush in case it gets frizzy, cash because people are going to like carnivals and stuff like that so yeah if you're interested in seeing my top five totes for the summer then just keep watching of course we have a lot of different kinds of totes like for example the neverfull kind of aesthetic and so is like the celine kaboss tote like both of those are totes but i'm just gonna do like an overarching when i say tote bag i'm purely talking about kind of just like a bigger bag that basically has no pockets no nothing and you can just like stuff whatever there's not really a structure to it i've actually never googled the definition of a tote maybe i should google it and see exactly what tote stands for but yeah so the first bag that's honestly on my radar actually all of these bags are on my radar but only two of them i'm like this close to buying okay so the first bag that i'm talking about is a very popular bag that has been around for a while um that you had they have vintage versions of this and then they they actually revamped it and it's going to be the Bottega Veneta medium Jody bag uh, I know they have different sizes I don't I'm not that a diehard into Bottega Veneta but I'm just recently like dipping my toe into it I know like during the pandemic in 2020 Bottega was just so hot every single person was collecting the pouch pad a cassette regular cassette like anything and everything intrasato leather so yes specifically the medium Jody is like what really really caught my attention and then I saw an interview with Kendall Jenner a couple months back she had the black um, I want to say the medium size it could be the teen the sizing on it is a little bit confusing but definitely not the really tiny ones for sure like the bigger ones so Kendall Jenner did like a what's in my bag for Vogue or British Vogue or something like that and that's when I not when I first saw it I already knew about the bag because of the mini Jody the mini one I feel like is the more popular one I think um, it's just very trendy and I honestly never ever ever wanted to get that bag because it just looks so annoying to use I know some people think micro bags are really annoying to use that you just pop a lipstick but a micro bag is very simple whereas I feel like the mini Jody because of the aesthetic of the small one you hold it like this it doesn't really look like a crook of the arm like purely you have to top handle it and I think it looks cute for like a fashiony person but practicality wise I just I just I don't understand it maybe I really need to touch it because to be honest I've never actually held the mini Jody I think that's what the size is called but anyways going back to the main point the medium size I just feel like it's so slouchy it looks so comfortable I know they have this they made this bag before um, and it didn't have the knot and then um, obviously the new Jody's do have the knot and I actually really do like the knot I've heard some people say because I've watched a couple reviews on it because I low-key really want to buy it some people say depending on how your body frame is that it tends to fall you know some just like over the shoulder bags or toe bags doesn't have to be a big one or a small one they tend to fall like some people think that the i've seen reviews that the celine ava bag falls um whereas for example the product re-edition um because the chain is so thin it stays on your shoulder so it ha people have the same complaints about the medium jody bag they do have various different colors for this bag and yeah i just really really like it i really want it um i definitely want to try it on in person so the next time i go to the mall i'm definitely definitely gonna go to the bottega veneta store price point one I think it's a little expensive but you know Bottega Veneta is really hot right now so the premium for just like that brand in general uh, I just really like how understated it is because to me like I feel like for bag lovers it's not understated because it's like signature Bottega Veneta but if you don't really know brands like that you can just bring like for example if you had the black one like the same one that kendall jenner has then it's very low key i definitely feel like i could take that to the beach i could take that to go running errands shopping and it's just like chuck everything in there so yes so there's my oh i know Alyssa lenore i think she either used to have the medium sized jody or she still does um but she also for her to like it too that i'm just like okay that girl is like the handbag queen and she's dipped her toes in so many different brands so for her to give it a stamp of approval just makes me like it even more 
Okay, so the next bag is a bag that I've talked about before. It's a Lueve bag, of course, because I'm still on this Lueve high right now. And it's going to be the extra large flamenco bag. When I first saw this bag via pictures, I, I'm just like, okay, it's whatever. What converted me into I really, 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 really want this bag is when I tried it on in person. So when I first tried the hammock and the puzzle bag, I just saw the flamenco like when I was just looking around and it just the leather just looks so soft and I wanted to touch it because if you look at the HD photos that they have on their website it just it looks so soft and it's literally as soft and glossy but not glossy in like a wet way a glossy in like a smooth way it it literally is the way that it looks like it is so freaking buttery soft and it's very comfortable I just I love the way it looks I feel like I don't know when you first see it you might not like it but then when I tried it on and I just felt like it was the perfect like travel bag for example a lot of people say that the Dior book tote is a travel bag which I don't understand I feel like that bag is only a travel bag if you ride on private jets or if you hit first class every single time and if you live that life phenomenal but I could never ever ever travel travel with my Dior book tote just because I would just get so tired of holding it like this my arm would get so exhausted and no matter the design the one that I have obviously is the oblique but it just draws too much attention I feel and then on top of that the I feel like the number one thing that makes it not a travel bag is how open it is because it literally is anyone could pit pocket you yes if you get a smorga organizer you get the zipper on it that's great but in general i feel like i just i would just use the book tote as is like i wouldn't have like the zipper on top and stuff like that but yeah going back to it i just feel like the extra large flamenco not only is it comfortable the straps are really thick and soft because i know some people complain about just for example the louis vuitton neverfull how the straps are too thin so when you carry a lot of items in it um the thinner the straps obviously the more it's gonna dig in whereas the flamenco the straps are so thick and it's all leather and uh, i just love it and it magnetic closes like from the top so there's like a seal on it i just I love it so much and they have it in different colors initially I thought of getting it in avocado green but I'm honestly leaning towards black like a really solid neutral color so black or their tan but yeah I really 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 like it um so right now the top two contenders okay that's a light top three there's gonna the the bag at the end that I'm gonna talk about is honestly like my favorite out of the bunch but the flamenco love it so much Okay, so the third tote that I'm going to be talking about, I feel like it was really, really popular last year and I feel like it's only grown in popularity. So it is the Fendi Sunshine Tote. So when I got my Fendi baguette bag, I actually saw the Fendi Sun Sunshine Tote in store and that was honestly the first time I ever heard about it, the first time I've ever seen it. It was just on display and while she was wrapping up my Fendi baguette bag, I was just like trying on a bunch of different bags and I saw it and my favorite thing about the Fendi Sunshine Tote is the handles are kind of like the tortoise shell and i don't know there's something about it it's like a really solid neutral i just love how like warm and inviting the bag looks i know recently they came out with the fendi sunshine tote in this kind of like pastel light blue color which i think is really pretty but my favorite is definitely like the brown neutral one i remember when i first tried on the sunshine tote i was just looking at it in the mirror and then this girl saw me try it on and it was like another customer that was looking to buy a bag and she straight up was like oh that bag looks really cute on you and then she ended up buying it because i tried it on and she liked the way it looked so i thought that was really really funny i honestly thought it was so cute they have a mini one that is very similar to the celine mini vertical kibosh toe i really like it um i feel like that's like the most similar bag in terms of the louis vuitton on the go i just feel like the fendi sunshine tote would be such like a nice bag to take to the caribbeans if you're going on a cruise hawaii or something like that it's just really giving me like those tropical vibes so if louis vuitton me crossing my fingers that they release more canvas ones because the louis vuitton canvas ones are really nice okay but that was a side tangent but the fendi sunshine tote for sure Alrighty, so the next one, in all honesty, it's like I'm kind of going back and forth on it. So Ramina here on YouTube, hi. Uh, she recently just got the Chanel 22 bag and she got it in this like really, really pretty metallic color. And I honestly see for me i consider this a tote because the whole aesthetic of the bag it's like a hybrid between a tote and a bucket bag i feel like turned into one because the length of the strap is it's just i don't know it, it just looks kind of like an, a free-for-all bag and i consider this kind of like a tote i don't know what other people if there's an actual definition for this bag please let me know in the comments but honestly when i first first saw this bag 
uh, get released. I I was okay about it. I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't like, oh, oh my god, I need to run out and get this. I just thought it was like, it was cute, right? Because it has the Chanel logo. Well, not the Chanel logo, but it says Chanel in the hardware print. But my favorite thing actually about this bag is the details of it. I love the chain, how it has the little Chanel logo like in the gold hardware on the side. And I love that they come out with this in like so many different colors and they also have different sizes. And I love how the quilting on it is very subtle. So initially when I first saw this bag, I didn't notice the quilting like at first because the quilting is extremely subtle it's just kind of like with the the string detailing and then obviously i was watching review videos on it and you can actually see the quilting and that's what made me go, like really like it because initially when i first saw this bag get released it just reminded me of those cheap kind of sports i don't even want like soccer track basketball you know those like hiking backpacks that people use like when you're in high school with like the two straps right here and it's like really thin it's like held by shoelaces that's literally what it reminded me of and then but obviously the chanel one has a the strap on the top as opposed to like the gabrielle backpack which is more similar if anything but anyways going back to it i was going back and forth because after the chanel 22 bag came out i actually was seeing a lot of quality control issues with the chanel 22 saying that um the chanel hardware in the front would like fall off and then i just never wanted to look back at it but then um, more and more people were getting it michelle wong also got the chanel 22 i think she got it in like that beautiful like caramel color as well which was really really nice and then and then i just started like i really like it um i feel like the price point is not as bad obviously compared to like the classic flaps or the boy and stuff like that like it's way more doable i mean it better be doable because it's a newer bag but it's definitely considered a classic now it's like part of their classic line like it's not a seasonal bag but yes i haven't tried it on in person nor have i ever touched it this is purely based on just pictures and yeah i feel like this would be an awesome tote in all honesty like i think i need to double check the price but i think it's like four thousand dollars for like a forever tote bag if you get it in like black or even a purple i just feel like it'd be like really awesome for summertime and to just like chuck everything in so yes Alrighty, so my last technically i have one but i'm gonna add two because it's the same brand so it's gonna be prada and there's two bags so it's first going to be the terry tote okay so the first time i saw this i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not original at all there was this k-pop idol that had this bag in a what's in my bag and i first saw her use it and i was like this is interesting and i just thought oh i wonder if she's sponsored like if she's a brand ambassador by prada so does she really like this bag or did they gift it to her or this is like you know she's just a prada brand ambassador and then i started looking at more reviews on it and i just started looking at it and i was like hold on i actually really really like this bag they have it in pink they have it in white but honestly the baby blue is like what really caught my eye i really want to touch the shearling material in person to see like how thick it is like does it feel like the fluff is going to come off um and just like see the overall aesthetic on my body but yeah i really like it i think this would be such a good summer bag even though it's like fuzzy so it's hot but i don't know there's something like really friendly and warm about this bag i honestly think the pink one would be really good for summer i feel like the white one would be more of a winter like it's giving me winter vibes the white one but yeah the pink and the blue one like that shade of blue too i just really really like so that's definitely um sparked by uh the k-pop idol but I looked at it i think the price is like 1700 or something like that honestly a little more expensive for the, for the fact that it's shearling but i'm not mad about it i would prefer if it was like 1500 but then i'd be like okay for sure but yeah i actually really like it and then the last bag i wasn't gonna include this but after considering the terry tote i thought i needed like an alternate so the alternate prada bag is the rafia raffia raffia i don't know the difference but uh Alyssa lenore actually loves this bag she loves this bag more um she sold like her Luebe basket bag like this is her go-to summer bag and i'm not gonna lie to you when i first saw this bag i was like this is over a thousand dollars are you kidding me it's literally like so thin and it's just like a netted bag when i was in seventh grade i remember like netted bags were in at first i wasn't really about it and then the more i saw pictures i think this would be a definitely definitely a really good like beach bag because the holes are small enough that your big items won't come out like sunglasses a towel um so it's kind of like luxury but 
like casual at the same time that's why i definitely actually really like this again i need to try on this bag in person to really see so just to see like because it's a very long bag and on top of that like the more that you put stuff in it for sure the shape is gonna kind of get a little bit I don't want to say wonky but you can tell even though it's a rectangular bag the more you stuff it it's definitely gonna like get rounder like if i put a towel on it it's definitely gonna get rounder and stuff definitely it's just giving me summer vibes like definitely 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 like beach for sure summer vibes so those are my top picks for the summer totes i know the definition of a tote bag is like very fluid i honestly feel like a tote just is any type of bag that's big and you can just stuff a bunch of stuff inside so yeah you know like a shopping tote when you buy something and they're like here's a shopping tote for two dollars if you want to put your clothes in because you have to pay 10 cents for everything now but yeah if you guys own any of these bags if you guys want any of these bags let me know in the comments i would love to know your opinions if you're pro or against it if you tried them on and you hated it i would love the feedback basically i want the lueve flamenco tote to replace my longchamp bags just because one of my longchamp bags in particularly that i use for work and just everything it is so dirty on the bottom and to clean that type of nylon is honestly a joke it's really it's just ridiculous but yes uh if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys